I'm Adam, and this is Brian G, the EVOG. Make sure you check out his channel. Today, he's partnering with me to launch maybe one of my favorite projects I've ever done called EV80 Kit. Brian, what do you, when you hear EV80 Kit, what do you think of? I think about the etiquette associated with being an EV driver. It sounds like it's working. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. What we want to do is try to educate people on how to behave at a charger so everyone has a great experience. And that's what it's all about. We'll go over the rules. We'll talk about all of the origins. In fact, I came up with 80 kit. Brian came up with EV. Was that just you? No, that was definitely my wife, Christina, behind the camera. Okay. Right, who said 80 kit related to what, right? And so EV just made it stupid simple, made it obvious. We're talking about EV etiquette, right? And as EV adoption continues to proliferate, we're gonna to need to help people understand just the simple nuances of the etiquette associated with charging especially. And there are a lot of complexities. So that's what we're here to do, kind of make it simple. There's five rules. Become a DC charging Puma today. Check out the website, ev80kit.com. Brian, thanks a lot. I wish you best of success with this because it's very much needed. I don't know how many times over the last several months that I pulled up to a charger and I just walk around and look at states of charge and more often than not, more than half the vehicles are at a state of charge north of 85% and they're still sitting there even if there's a line. And we all need the journey and we all need to charge and hopefully we can do it together. Check us out at ev80kit.com. Welcome and thank you for clicking this video. What is EV80 Kit? It is a set of helpful guidelines we can utilize to be courteous to other EV drivers and help improve the overall DC fast charging experience for everyone. Let's go over the guidelines now. We've created an acronym to help you remember them, which is PUMAS. Let's start with our first guideline. The number one goal is politeness. Make sure your communication with other EV drivers is courteous and helps everyone have a positive experience. Next, unplug and move your vehicle at 80% if there's any congestion at your charging station. Give other EV drivers with lower battery percentages a chance to get charged, as vehicles at a lower state of charge tend to charge faster than those at a higher state of charge. Next, mind your curve or understand what speeds your vehicle charges at on a regular basis. Vehicles like the Chevy Bolt, Kia e Nero, and others tend to charge at slower speeds and do not need higher speed stalls. So if you have a slower charging EV, try not to use the fastest available stalls if other stalls are available. Next, we understand your time is valuable and so is the time of other EV drivers. And in the event you plan on walking away from your vehicle for a longer period of time, it can be extremely helpful to leave a message near your charger inlet. We recommend leaving a contact number so other drivers can message you letting you know that your vehicle is full. This strategy has a two-tier benefit. One, it reduces the liability of others who may be compelled to unplug your vehicle when they're needing a charge, and it allows those in need of a charge to obtain a time frame based on your communication for when that stall may become available, potentially reducing additional congestion. Remember, politeness and courtesy are the number one goal. And finally, if you know you need to charge over 80% for your normal routine or to continue your long journey, try the best you can to stay at your stall so others with a lower state of charge can take priority as once again, they charge much faster at a lower state of charge than your vehicle with a higher state of charge. If we work together as a community, we can all have a great EV charging experience. And remember, these are just guidelines and we understand all circumstances are different. We would sincerely appreciate if you would share this video with other EV drivers or check out our website ev80kit.com to learn more. Thanks so much for watching.